Mmm, good day, Tragic here, and welcome back to Mage Knight. This is the first turn of round two, so we're in the night mode. And we've already done the order. There was a slight error in the last turn. Uh, during tactic selection, I went from fourth player to first, which is actually how I've been playing it in real life for Yonks. But apparently... It is actually lowest fame to highest fame is the order that you choose your tactics, which does make a lot of sense. So, oh well. I'm not going to bother changing my tactic selections, but I will be doing that from now on. So just keep an eye on that. Anyway, uh, it is this bloke's turn. So he is actually on... Oops. He's on the camp. Now, the camp allows you to buy any unit you want just for an extra price. You can even get city units. Uh, now, again, remember, this is uh, not really the kind of scenario you need lots of units. I like to get units like scouts or foresters or you know, stuff that have map abilities because you can't take units into the dungeons with you. And this is a particularly good unit, I think. Not only has it got a heal, which isn't really as good as you think it is, because uh, it requires mana and all this kind of stuff. I mean, it's good to have a heal, obviously, but the real power of this unit is readying other units and until then creating mana tokens. So this is a good unit and it's only three to buy. So we are definitely going to buy this sucker because we actually have a four influence in our pocket and a white mana to go and everything. So let's just do that. And uh, interacting, of course, our action for the turn. So that is that. Okay, now I have this dude. Uh, unfortunately, he's got a wound in hand. Now he did draw up to six because he is next to a uh, keep that he controls. Now, what I'd like to do is take out these two. Basically, it's just two little monsters, and we get all those crystals. And this thing here is kind of annoying because we actually need to have 10 attack. That's actually quite a large amount of attack at this stage. It's three to move into that area. Two if we use our Forester. Our Forester can reduce hills by one. So we can't actually make 10 attack, I don't think. We've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So we've got 12 attack if we can power all these cards which would require two mana. We do not have a white in the source to power the mana draw, but we do have one green and one red. We also have a red green crystal here. So we could actually take out that uh, castle, which might be a which might be what it's placed for. Which actually might not be a bad idea. We could take out that castle. That'll give us four rep, which would be enough to get us. Oh, it's not going to level us up really. It's just going to get us another shield. So not particularly too cool. I guess uh, we would have access to buying golems and other such things maybe even getting a scout. The other option is, of course, we take out two orcs. Now, two orcs isn't a huge amount to worry about and it would give us all those crystals. But if we blow it on the scouts, we'll be able to get in there. I think, actually, I'm going to take out this castle because we have got a wound in hand and we can take out this castle and we can draw an extra two cards because we'll have two, two guys. Move in here, draw another two cards... And that's going to negate having that wound. So the question is, can we get rid of that block? We need to block two to stop us from taking a second wound. 
Because that's going to negate all the good work we can do. So, we only need to block two. So there's two block. And that would give us four. We could block with this guy. But that gives us four. Five, six, seven. Oh, not four. That gives us a, a three, six, seven, eight. So that's only eight attack. So we can really only produce eight attack. It's not a huge amount, really, is it? I guess I could use this to block, but I'd rather not use my Forester at this early stage of the turn. We could pick up a Guardian Golem, though which is a pretty nice monster. Or I could pick up some Shock Troopers, which is a plus one range attack. Plus one range attack is incredibly strong because they've sort of balanced the pugs by making the, the white range attack three always one short or two short. So getting a plus one range can really help you just wipe out a, a lot of uh, green pugs. I think I'm actually going to do this. So the way I have to do this is there's no white. So I have to go mana draw. Get a white crystal. And I'm going to set this to green. And part of our uh, friendly mana rule is that if you are going to reset, you have to first reset a colored mana. A non-colored mana or whatever, like black. And we'll get two green crystals. So I go ambush. That gives me four movement. And that is enough to get into the location. Okay. So now I need to block, so I'm going to go bam and block three, because this has got block three. That blocks the two attack, so he's now blocked. I then go four, and I'm using our first attack card, so it is plus two, so that's actually six. Uh, sorry, so I'm going to go this, and this, and this. That is three attack plus three, so that's six attack. And then I'm going to power this with a red token. And I've sort of burnt all my fanciness in that one turn just to take this uh, castle. Probably not a great thing. So just to recap, this uh, ability gives us a blue crystal and a red mana. So I use that to power this. So once again, I moved in with four. That gives me plus two to our first attack card. Then I blocked three to uh, block this guy. Then I used mana draw to take two green crystals, one to power ambush, of course. The other one powers will of focus, which gives plus three to the next card which is swiftness, so 3 plus 3 is 6. And then, you know, I don't even need to do this, do I? Do I need to do this? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, that's all I need to do. I don't need to use my crystal at all. So, okay, 3 to block. I play mana draw, I get 2 green crystals. So not only this is 4, it's also plus 2. So this is not actually six with this, it's six, seven, eight, and then it's just two attack for 10. So that has killed this guy. Okay. And that gives us four, which takes us to what, uh, 11. And we go back another one. We're really going down in the reputation. But we do get another keep. 
Twins are now drawing to seven cards, which is awesome. Okay, number three, what have you got for us? We are wanting to try and uh, beat this dungeon. Let's uh, see if we can actually do that. Let me have a look here. We've got a movement we don't really need. We have plus attacks here. We've basically got a ton of attack and not much defense. We do have a red crystal and there's a red crystal up here so we can power multiple things. I'm going to do this. Let's get our guy and uh, there's no white. Oh, that is horribly bad. Look at this. So this is a Medusa, right? It's only four armor. We have range attack three, but we also have plus one. So if we had a white bloody mana, we'd be able to take this guy out. No worries. Oh, that is so frustrating that we don't have a white mana. Okay, we can still do this though. So let's go bam, bam, and use the red die. That gives us five block. And then we go six block, and that blocks him. And we have to do that because it's got paralyzed, which would, you know, kill us. Like, paralyzed makes you dump your hand out. So we've blocked, and now we just need to do four attack. So we go bam, pay with the red crystal, that's four attack, and she's dead okay so that is five takes us to nine so uh, we get another one of these and because we've taken out a uh, dungeon, we get to roll one of these little dies. Yoink. Oh, and it is a spell card. We're not getting a lot of love here. I'm going to take Storm. Basically, you can get artifacts from dungeons. Okay, and finally we have... Ooh... One, two, three, four. Why has she got six cards in hand? Oh, why? Right, because we had preparation. Okay. So, we... There's a white. So I'm going to go bam, pay with the white. Then I'm going to go two, three... And this allows us to spend one movement point per revealed space. So we've done three movement points. And that is one, two, three. And we're ready to rumble for next turn. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's check out. We're back at... Let's, uh, we're back at the dwarf. Let's pull it out. Okay, not a lot of action. Well, let's try and take out this dude for starters, may as well. Basically, we need four attack to kill this guy. So there's our four attack. There is a thing here. And we need seven block which we can do uh no we can't wait he's uh leveled up here because he's actually got two skills so this should be out he's actually at three um basically five that's five six seven that blocks him but we have to pay a red mana So that blocks him. 
but we still need to I don't want to use Duretic Paths because it's such a good card for movement and you're going to need to move in a sec but I could use this couldn't I so I so what I'm doing here is this has cumbersome, right? Which means that for every movement point we spend, we actually reduce that attack. So it's seven attack, which is a huge amount of attack. It's actually going to give us three wounds. So if I go... Actually, you know, I might just do... Oops, that's a, that's a red. I might just do, so if I do that, it's reduced to three, which means this is five, which means I'd take two wounds because of this, because this is now be five and we have three armor. So I'd take two wounds. If I do it again, I take one move. So that is three, four, five. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, to, to sum up, we provoke this guy. He's got cumbersome. He's attacking for seven. So we play provision. Improvisation without any mana gives us three move. We have to discard this to power it. So that is three move. And then I play this for another two move. That makes us five move, which converts that seven attack to a two attack. So... Now we're going to let that damage come through because it's got no other effects. That means we take one wound in hand and then I use the red dice to pay the four attack, which is enough to kill him. And that be the end of that. So that is a another four. One, two, three, four. And he goes up another your blamo. Noise. Noise. Okay, let's draw to seven cards this time. Oh, we get both our wounds. There is a green. He's going to spend one turn and just go bam, power it with green, and clear both these wounds. And. What else am I going to do? It does have influence. Maybe I should buy something. I could buy this, right? This is seven. Oh, no. I, I can't. Did, didn't I level him up? Yeah, I did level him up. I'm pretty slack uh, bringing out the new shields. Okay, so this guy costs seven. So that's... Uh, Five, six, seven. Oh, wait, he's negative one, I believe, isn't he? Yeah. So that's eight. Ah, but we also have the map, mystical map. Now, we are playing with the uh, Shades of Tesla uh, tiles, and these things are actually worth three influence for when we are interacting. You can actually discard them for fame even, which is something pretty awesome when you're just one point away from leveling up or something. So that's actually three influence. Yeah, I think I'll just leave it for now. But next turn, I was planning to move into the area I wanted to combat. But uh, I can just do it next turn. Okay, three, let's draw up to five, your blammo. We have our huge big range attack now, which remember is plus one. So that's actually six range attack, which is freaking awesome. Uh, the question is what to do with him? Where is he supposed to go now? Could go there, I guess. We do have four movement. So that is three, five movement to get into here. So that is four, five movement. And finally, let's drop to five. 
perfect. So this hopefully we'll be able to clear this. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we have no block actually. So that's pretty bad. We've got two block. So you know what? Maybe I won't attack. Two block is not a lot, is it? <laughs> uh, you know what? I don't think I will attack this. Uh, what I will do though is I'll go crystallize and I'll take a red. Actually, I'll take a blue and I'll use that to take a white. I've already got a white with green. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take a different color. So yeah, I'll take a red. And then I'll discard this card as well. And hopefully we'll get some kind of block. Okie dokie. Uh, okay, well that's the end of the round. Hmm, didn't quite go as according to plan. We sort of, it's a bit of a holding pattern turn, but we have made it through. Okay, well, I'll see you guys next time.